So Dye Dyes is our next oil blend that can be used to support your dog's digestive system. This is something that we use a lot in my family anytime we have a stomach ache, but it's great for your dog as well. So anytime they have an upset tummy, then you can apply that topically on the VitaFlex points on the dog's foot. You would just look that up in Google. And then you could also put it over their stomach. Again, remembering your dilution ratios. So it includes the naturally occurring constituents such as menthol, citral, and zingabri. And this is a good one to have in the car in case your dog gets motion sick um, or their tummy just doesn't quite settle when they're in the car. Panaway is awesome for active dogs. Dogs that are really busy, they have strenuous exercise, long workouts, maybe they're training for some kind of a competition, and it's really great for just soothing those muscles and helping them um, unwind after a really hard workout. You could also enhance the property of Panaway by adding a layer of Copaiba on top of the Panaway. These two oils work fantastic together. Again, great one to use for yourself in the same situation after you've been working out. Um, anytime I'm moving furniture or chopping wood with my husband or I've just worked out too much and my muscles are letting me know that I've had a hard day, then I just get my Panaway out and um, I rub that on my muscles with some carrier oil. It's fantastic. Also, if you're feet are sore. A little bonus there. Okay, purification. This has been affectionately named the stinkinator in our team's group. It is great for taking away those yucky smells. So if you are getting ready to go out on a hike and you want to have an annoyance free experience, then make a little spritz and put some purification in there. Just get a little spritzer bottle. Something as simple as this would be no problem. And then just Spritz away as you're as you're going on your little hike. Uh, it's going to soothe the skin. Again, like I said, an air freshener, especially after you've gone in the water. If you have a dog that loves to be in the water, we all know what that wet dog smells like, and it's not very pleasant. So if you've gone out on a hike, your dogs run around in the creek, and then you get back in your car, you don't want your car to smell like wet dog. So great air freshener, and you could spray it on synthetic grass for a more pleasing aroma. Another great one to use in your kitchen after you've been cooking, you could put it in uh, on a couple drops on a cotton ball, stick it in your stinky gym shoes, and it's really gonna help take away those yucky smells. Stress Away is my personal favorite for me. I use it as my perfume every day. I love it. Love, love, love stress away. But as the name suggests, it's for any kind of stress, those daily stresses. It may be your dog is presenting with tiredness or irritation, situational anxiety like thunderstorms or really windy events going on outside of your house. My dog the other day was just panicking when the wind was kind of howling outside. So maybe your dog is really excited and you need them to chill out help um, them unwind with the stress away. It's really good. It induces relaxation and helps with occasional nervous tension. So really, really good combination of lime, lavender, and okatea in this blend. It's fantastic. I wish you could smell through the internet. And then lemon. Lemon is great when you're training older dogs. So you can put a drop in your in your dog's water bowl, also in your um, own drink. Anytime you're having water, you can add a drop of lemon. But anytime you're using essential oils and you're drinking them, make sure, and this is for the dogs as well, make sure the container is either glass or metal because essential oils, especially citrus oils, eat petrochemicals like plastic. And so it's going to not only corrode your plastic, but it's also going to put those toxins in the water and then you're gonna be drinking them. So never, never, never use essential oils in anything plastic, not to mention it will destroy your cup. Also, if you've got one of those fancy cups, um, I don't remember the brand, but the really expensive mugs that keep things cold for a long time and they have the plastic lid. 
if you tip that up and take a drink, it's going to eat your plastic lid and destroy your nice, perfect, you know, expensive cup. So use a straw, a metal straw, if you're doing that. So random, but I'm telling you, you could also add lemon to clean things. It is fantastic for any kind of a cleaner. So it's going to smell great. And they suggest here to add that if your um, dog is marking for scent. So used to, um, use it for helping your dog find their way outside, helping puppies associate a scent with your house training. And ultimately, it's just going to give you such a fresh and clean scent. So I'm going to give you guys a mental break and I'll be right back. 